offset kettlebell push-up. This one's great if you are tired and you are too good for regular push-ups or if you are just looking for a little bit more activation, a little bit more depth and core stability, scapular stability. Whatever your reason for this exercise is a good one. So let's just move the kettlebell to a right hand side. Right hand's gonna be on the, the bell portion of it. That'll really allow us to get down deep, deep into that push-up position. Let's widen out our feet just a little bit more because at the end position, our weight's gonna be distributed between our feet and our hands. So the wider you go, the easier it's gonna be to stabilize. The more narrow you go, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. As we go down, find the depth that works good for you. If we are lacking a little bit of mobility or if we have a tight chest, our shoulder is gonna tend to anteriorly rotate, being that it's, it's elevated. So go down to a point that works for you. We don't wanna have any pain or discomfort in that bottom position. So once you find that point, we're now gonna explode up and drive hard into that kettlebell, getting some air underneath that other side. Press upwards, hold it up there for one Mississippi. Try not to have our shoulder blades collapse so everything's nice and protracted, everything's nice and tight. The kettlebell's on our right side, left arm is in the air. Try and drive your left foot into the ground as hard as you can. That's really gonna help to stabilize your hips, make sure everything's nice and level. You'll feel that core light up as soon as you get up off the ground. Obviously, you wanna even things out, Get on your right side, go ahead, switch it over onto your left side. Just hold it up there for one Mississippi, you'll start feeling it. It's very good for power, elevating the heart rate. Yeah, just a great movement, upper body pressing, and getting the core involved.